name is Albert Fosdyke, and I want to appeal to you tonight on behalf of a cause which is extremely close to my heart, myself. <laughs> now, I need a lot more money, and you can help me get it. Why do I need this money? Because I'm suffering from a very serious complaint, laziness. <laughs> I'm what is known in the medical profession as bone idle. Now, it costs money to run my large, spacious home, Albert Fosdyke House, set in glorious countryside in the Cotswolds. And recently, I've opened another home, the Sunshine Home for Albert Fosdyke on the French Riviera. <laughs> now, it doesn't run itself, you know. Also, I have a sister establishment on the Costa Brava, and I've established four sisters in it, and they're real belters. <laughs> In addition to this, I also have a wife to support. My very good friend, Henry Parkinson's wife. <laughs> this very week, I am building, at a cost of several hundred pounds, a new tradesman's entrance. And that's where you come in. <laughs> now, all this costs money. Your money. That's why I'm appealing to you tonight. I just can't make ends meet, and frankly, I'm going to the docks. And I can't win there either. <laughs> my health is suffering. Only yesterday I had a very unpleasant message from my doctor. He said, you have less than a month to live, unless you marry my daughter. <laughs> now, that sort of thing could be quite a shock. Now, just two words about cast-off clothing, warm woolens, and silver paper. No thanks. <laughs> a scheme which I think you will find much more attractive. The pound in your pocket is now only worth 69p. So you send me the pound notes and I'll send you the 69p. <laughs> How will your money be spent? Well, a hundred pounds will go straight away on harbour lights in the 2.30 at Ascot. <laughs> and as little as 50 pounds a week will keep me in lobsters the whole week. So please send your contributions, however large, to this address. The Albert Fosdyke appeal for Albert Fosdyke, care of Her Majesty the Queen, Wandsworth Prison. Thank you. <laughs>